Hey guys, Coach Marcus here in Phoenix. I'm out. It's a little after one o'clock my time. I have to make a quick uh, stroll to the bank. Uh, make, make a quick deposit. So this video is a little earlier than when I normally do these videos. So, but I wanted to conclude this uh, series I have on the uh, smart fast food choices. So hey, I want to thank everybody who's watching, all the live viewers, all of my, uh, all the people that watch the recording and the people that share this video, everyone in my, uh, support group. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Today has been funny, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I gotta laugh, but last night, this is not related to that fast food, uh, anything related to fast food, but last night, guys, I, uh, posted a picture I think uh, Tyrese Gibson the singer he had, he had a picture on there with a, a guy with a picture of a, a wooden ring and uh, some type of I don't know what that was some type of stone in it and the guy proposed and saying hey he didn't have time to save up to buy a regular ring so he gave that to his, his girlfriend and the answer was would the uh, would the lady said yes or no so I shared it <laughs> I shared it last night and uh, if you haven't seen it go go to my wall and check out all the responses I, I had no idea you know that simple post would generate so many comments I even made somebody a couple of people angry and upset one person <laughs> this lady Hannah she uh she unfriended me uh, and then she blocked me, I guess. I don't know. But, um, funny. Everyone has a difference of opinion in what their definition of love is. I know God is love, but when you're here on earth, love don't pay the bills. So, if you want to test it out, next time you go to the grocery store, uh, tell the, tell the uh, checker you're going to pay with love and not with money and see what happens so but that's just a totally different uh subject i may have to make a video on that but i, I didn't think you know I, I my response was heck no i wouldn't say yes you know if someone can't afford to buy a a, a ring can't even be a gold band somebody can't afford to do that then the man cannot afford to take on a wife that that was my whole point wait until you're in a better financial position and then ask that lady to marry you and if you can't afford to take care of her you shouldn't be getting married so that's my uh words of wisdom to the single fellas uh but anyway and i want to wrap up these uh smart fast food choices series i've been doing today is krispy kreme Subway and Taco Bell. Uh, you know, we're talking about heart health and eating healthy, minim uh, watching your calories, and uh, not having too much fat. So, and this is part six. So I'll I'll share what the best of and what the worst, the best of the best items on there. These restaurant chains menus and what the worst food items are according to the, the American Wellness Council. So this is the brochure I have. Uh, Krispy Kreme. So the best of, guys, is the cinnamon twist. Then it has yeast. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's made, assuming it's made with yeast. So the cinnamon twist, that only has 230 calories and nine grams of uh, fat. So that's a good snack. You know, if you guys are on a weight loss journey or a healthy eating journey, your snack should be around 150 calories. So just remember that we cross this light. The next healthiest item on the Krispy Kreme menu is the powdered sugar cake donut, 210 calories, 10 grams of fat. After that, next healthiest item is the uh, glazed mini Cruller, C-R-U-L-L-E-R. 
I don't know what a crawler is. That must be some type of donut. But that's 230 calories and 10 grams of sugar. Now back in the day, guys, in my uh, pre-healthy eating days, I would eat a dozen Krispy, Krispy Kreme glazed donuts in a day by myself. You know, so now I don't really, I don't really eat donuts. Hey, Mark, thanks for joining, man. I don't really eat donuts now. Now it's more than healthy. Make healthier choices. You know, 47 years old. Uh, been eating healthy f probably for the past four or five years, and just trying to be the example for my family and my friends and my followers here on Facebook and Twitter and on Instagram. So. So like I said, that gray's mini color at Krispy Kreme, that's one of the healthy, healthy items. Uh, I'm out getting my steps. I mean, you and Brian, man, you guys are keep keeping me walking. I'm in another uh, walking challenge too with uh, Mark Knapper. So I don't think I hit 20,000 steps again this week. My knees were sore after I did that, man. So. If I get to 15, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so anyway, so the worst stuff, guys, that Krispy Kreme, the worst things to get, they're glazed raspberry filled donut, 350 calories, 21 grams of fat. Uh, remember, you can have up to 65 grams of fat per day if you're eating uh, 2,000 calories each day. Uh, the honey bun at Krispy Kreme, 410 calories. 24 grams of fat. Hey, sorry about the sun, guys. Uh, and the coconut cream pie donut. That's my favorite dag on donut. I love the coconut cream pie donut, but that has 450 calories and 21 grams of fat. So I used to eat two or three of those, guys. So I was eating 1,350 calories at one time and then 63 grams of fat. I had no idea what I was doing to myself back then. Wow. So next restaurant, guys, is Subway. Now we see the commercials. Uh, we don't see Jared anymore. <laughs> I'm sure they'll, now they, they use a lot of the, uh, the athletes, the football players, uh, to help promote uh, Subway. Um, now the best of, the best sandwiches at Subway, these are all six cent sandwiches. It are the six cents Veggie Delight. That's one of my wife's favorites. Um, that's on, only 200 calories and then 2.5 grams of fat. So you can get that with your bag of chips. Uh, if you go to Subway and even a drink, you know, probably one of their low calorie drinks, but um, that's good. The six inch turkey breast, guys, is all, is 254 calories and 3.5 grams of fat. Again, that's a healthy sandwich. And then the six inch turkey club sandwich, it's uh, 294 calories and it's five grams of fat not bad so hey subway i like subway i haven't been there in a while my daughter used to like them all the time um there's something about their bread that's different to me uh i don't know i like going to sprouts and uh whole foods to get my sandwiches and even fries if you guys live in arizona fries the grocery store their sandwiches are awesome. They're better than uh, Whole Foods. They're better than Sprouts. So if you want a sandwich, I recommend going to Fry's. But uh, the worst stuff sandwiches at, at, at uh, Subway, the six inch tuna sandwich. That's 450 calories, guys, and 22 grams of fat. Uh, the Dijon horseradish, is that a sandwich? I don't know, but the Dijon horseradish, I'm gonna say sandwich. That's 470 calories and 21 grams of fat. And then this six inch meatball from Subway. I love, I love the meatball sandwich. So I like, I like the marinara sauce, I like, the, I like it hot. But that's 540 calories and 26 grams of fat. So back before I started wanting to lose weight, I would eat Subway probably two or three days a week. And I always got, <laughs> would eat the meatball sandwich and then I thought it was healthier because they had protein. I didn't really think about the calories and then the fat, but hey, education, that's why I do these videos. And lastly, guys, Taco Bell. Uh, 
Taco Bell. I haven't eaten them in years. Yeah, I used to love to get their uh, nachos bel grande and those cinnamon crisp things. But now, oh gosh, I haven't been there. Make, they make my stomach hurt. But uh, I'm almost done with this video. I'm at the ATM machine now. But Taco Bell, guys, their their best foods to eat at Taco Bell are, uh, you know, they have a new, uh, uh, I don't know what I think, I don't know if it's a taco or a chalupa, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but Taco Bell has this new thing on their menu, I, I see it, so before you eat that, guys, or buy that, go on their website, look up the nutritional content to see if it's something that's healthy. But uh, the best stuff, guys, wow, the crunchy beef taco from Taco Bell is actually only 170 calories and 10 grams of fat so you probably as far as calories you can eat two of those 340 calories and you'll have uh 20 grams of fat for two so that's that's a good lunch uh the bean burrito a lot of protein in that a lot of fiber from the beans and the protein from the beans uh decent carbohydrates but that's 380 calories and 12 grams of fat so that's not bad and then the grilled chicken burrito, I'm sure, yeah, that's the yeah, grilled chicken burrito. It's 410 calories and 15 grams of fat. So that's a good lunch meal. The problem a lot of people have is they eat more than one of those. So, you know, because they're not really big, I can probably knock out two of their grilled chicken burritos. And you're getting a lot of the calories, guys, from that sauce and the cheese that they put in that burrito. So, but those aren't the healthier. Those are on the on the healthier side at Taco Bell. Uh, the worst things to get at Taco Bell, no. <laughs> taco salad with salsa. So a lot of people think that's healthy because it's salad. And I'm thinking that probably comes out in like one of those bowls, those fried tortilla shell bowls. So guess how many calories it has. It has 790 calories, almost 800 calories, and then 42 grams of fat. That's in their taco salad with salsa. And then their zesty chicken border bowl. Uh, I think that's probably their chicken with rice and vegetables and beans in that um, bowl. And it seems healthy because it's chicken, right? But it's uh, 730 calories and uh, 42 grams of fat. Hey, Julie, thanks for joining from Minnesota. It's nice here in Phoenix. I think it's probably mid-80s right now. Uh, I think next week it's supposed to cool down, get to the 70s, maybe some rain. But right now we're enjoying this weather, being able to go outside before the blazing inferno starts in May, it's June. But um, yeah, thanks for joining. But the zesty chicken border bowl at Taco Bell is 730 calories and 42 grams of fat. That's way too much, way, 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 way. Too many calories and too much fat. And then their Mexican pizza, actually, that's, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, the calories are... 540 calories, but then the fat content is there's 31 grams of fat in that uh, Mexican pizza. So, so that's it, guys. That concludes this series on the smart fast food choices. I have to find some other content to share with you guys on my further videos, future videos. But I appreciate you guys watching. Mark, thanks for inviting me to the, uh, uh, the daily Fitbit challenges. That helps to keep me going, keep me accountable. Uh, I'll see what you're doing in the gym, doing those two a days. You got to get ready for the, the uh, blue gray football camps. So, any guys, any of you guys watching this video, if you have any uh, young boys or boys in uh, junior high and high school who want to uh, further their career and go to college, check out the uh, blue gray uh, football combines and uh, attend those in your area. So, but. If you guys like these videos guys like them share them on your wall and if you need if you know anyone if there's if it's yourself anyone you know who needs some help with their health and fitness join my support group it's coach Marcus and friends health fitness and weight loss support group so let me wrap this up guys I got I'm standing in front of the ATM machine and uh, no line yet but I don't want to look like look like I'm stalking stalking people let me make this deposit and I'll see you guys on my next video peace and blessings and uh, have an awesome day I love y'all bye